you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation which is 125 to the power of x times 1 over 5 to the power of x this is equal to 100 so what is the value of x now let's provide a solution from here we can express 125 as 5 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x multiplied by 1 over 5 to the power of x this is equal to 100. So 1 over 5 to the power of x, this is in the form of 1 over a to the power of n, which we can express as a to the power of minus n. Applying this exponent property, then we have 5 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x times 5 to the power of minus x. This is equal to 100. Now, 5 to the power of 3 to the power of x, this is in the form of a to the power of n, raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n times m. Let's apply this property so that we have 5 to the power of 3x times 5 to the power of minus x, this is equal to 100. Now, 5 to the power of 3x times 5 to the power of minus x, this is in the form of a to the power of n, times a to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of n plus m applying this exponent property then this this means that we have 5 to the power of 3x minus x this is equal to 100 so this implies we have 5 to the power of 3x minus x this is 2x this is equal to 100 to solve for the value of x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides. We have log 5 to the power of 2x. This is equal to log 100. Now, log 5 to the power of 2x, this is in the form of log a to the power of b, which we can express as b log log a. Now, let's apply this power of property so that now log 5 to the power of 2x becomes 2x log 5. This is equal to log 100. So let's divide both signs by log 5. And also here we have log 5. So let's simplify log 5 and log 5 here. So this is 2x, which is equal to log 100 divided by log 5. We can express 100. This is the same thing as 5 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2. So this implies that we can substitute this so that x, that is 2x is equal to log 5 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2. Close the parentheses, everything here, divided by log 5. The next step is that log 5 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2. This is in the form of log a times b which we can express as rog a plus rog b. Applying this logarithm property, then we have 2x, this is equal to, this is rog 5 to the power of 2, divided by rog 5, then plus rog 2 to the power of 2, divided by rog 5. Applying the power rog property here, we have that rog 5 to the power of 2. This actually becomes 2 rog 5 divided by rog 5. Then plus, we have rog 2 to the power of 2. This becomes 2 rog 2 divided by rog 5. And this means that rog 5 divided by rog 5 simplifies. So that now 2x, this is equal to 2 plus this is 2 we can express rog 2 over rog 5 as rog 2 to base 5 so let's divide both signs by 2 so that now we simplify 2 and 2 here this means that x is equal to 2 divided by 2 this is equal to 1 plus 2 divided by 2 this is 1 times rog 2 times rog 2 to base 5 so this is the value of x. This is the value of x. The next step is to verify that this value of x here 
satisfies the equation as follows. Let's verify that this x here satisfies the equation. If you recall, we have that 125 raised to the power of x times 1 over 5 to the power of x. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. So we can express 125 as 5 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x times 5 to the power of minus x. This is equal to, this is supposed to give us a value of 100. So this is 5 to the power of 3 times x, which is 3x, multiplied by 5 to the power of minus x. This should give us a value of 1. Hundred. Now, we have that 5 to the power of 3x times 5 to the power of minus x. This is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 5 to the power of 3x subtract x. This is supposed to give us a value of 1 100. So this is 5 to the power of 2x. This should give us a value of 100. Now let's substitute the value of x, which is 5 to the power of 2 times x, which is 1, plus log 2 to base 5, cross the parentheses. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. Now let's open the parentheses here. So that we have 5 to the power of 2 times 1, this is 2. Then plus 2 times log 2 to base 5, this is 2. Log 2 to base 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. Now, 2 is a power here. So this means we can express this as 5 to the power of 2. Plus, this is log 2 to the power of 2. Then to base 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. Now, 5 to the power of 2 plus rock 2 square n to base 5. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which we can express as a to the power of n times a to the power of m. Applying this property, then this means we have 5 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of rock 2 squared to base 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. Now, 5 squared, this is equal to 25, times 5 to the power of rog 2 to the power of 2 to base 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. Now, we have that 5 to the power of rog 2 squared to base 5. This is in the form of a to the power of rog b to base a. And this is equal to b. Now, let's apply this logarithm property so that we have 5 to the power of rog 2 squared to base 5. This is equal to 2 squared, which is 4. Okay, so let's substitute 4 back to the equation here so that we have 25 multiplied by 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. Now, 25 times 4. This is equal to 100, which is equal to 100. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this affirms that the value of x here, which is equal to 1, which is equal to 1 plus log 2 to base 5, actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Like this video, and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.